Hi, welcome back to the lab. In this segment, we're going to talk about filtration. Filtration is a technique you're going to use in lab to separate solids from liquids. And there's two types of filtrations we're going to discuss today, gravity filtration and vacuum filtration. I'm going to put on my safety glasses and we can get started. Now, in gravity filtration, we're going to use just what the name implies, gravity. And there's only a few pieces of equipment we need. First, we need a flask, a funnel, and a piece of filter paper. Okay? And to start, I'm just going to put the funnel into the flask. And now I need to get my filter paper, which is going to filter our solid from our liquid, into the funnel. And of course, right now, it doesn't fit. What we have to do is fold the filter paper, and we're also going to flute it. In the process of fluting, we're going to increase the surface area so the filtration is that much more efficient. So to fold the filter paper, I'm going to first fold it in half into a semicircle and form a crease, and then turn it and fold it one more time into quarters. So now I have a cone. Okay? Now I'm going to go through the process of fluting, which is much like folding a paper fan. So I'm going to make one fold, flip it over, and fold it back, flip it over and fold it back again, and lastly, one more time. And again, what this is doing is forming a lot of sides to increase our surface area. Okay? Now I can open that up into a cone-like shape, and we can put that inside our funnel. But you can see all these edges here are going to help with our filtration. Okay? Now to stop it from popping out and make sure it's in place, I'm going to use a little bit of water, just squirt it around the sides, and that's going to stick the filter paper to the funnel. Now I'm ready to filter. What I have here is just a solution of sand and water. And I'm going to try to separate those with using gravity filtration. And as I stir it up, I'm going to pour the whole thing into solution. In this case, getting that sand right into the filter paper. And you can see that this filters pretty quickly. The stand, sand stays at the top. And through the bottom, you can see that the water, the clear solution, is just draining through. And again, gravity filtration is very good for a process like this because it's quick and doesn't require a lot of equipment. Now, sometimes there are solids that are a little more uh, thick and hold on to water, and a gravity filtration would take a lot longer to do. So sometimes we're going to use a vacuum filtration. So let's look at that equipment. OK, so if we look at our vacuum filtration, there's a few more pieces that we need. First, we have our ring stand and our filter flask. And our filter flask needs to be clamped into our stand so it doesn't fall over. And it looks much like an Erlenmeyer flask with a small tip, and that's for the receiving the vacuum line. We, of course, have another funnel. In this case, instead of just a regular glass funnel, we have what's known as a Buchner funnel. On the bottom, we have a rubber stopper to form an airtight seal. And at the top, we have a bunch of holes that are going to uh, let the solution pass through it. And then we have a piece of filter paper, which we're just going to stick on top of the filter. We don't need to fold it in this instance. Okay? So I'm going to put my filter funnel and filter together onto the filter flask. And now I need to connect it to my vacuum line. And the vacuum line is connected by a piece of rubber hosing that you'll find in lab. And I can just connect that onto the filter flask. Okay? And that traces back to the vacuum line. And you'll find these vacuum lines all throughout lab. And as I turn it on, you'll start to hear a vacuum being pulled. To make sure that we have the filter paper stuck well onto the funnel, I'm going to use water again to just wet it down and make sure it's stuck on there. Okay? And now I can begin to filter my solution. In this case, I have a cloudy white solution, which I'm trying to filter out. Okay? And I'm going to pour this into the funnel. And as we pour it in, what you'll see is that we begin to have a white solid collect at the top of the filter paper. And then if you look at the bottom in the flask, we have just a clear solution. So we were able to quickly and efficiently filter out this powdery material without having to wait for a gravity filtration. So in summary, there are two types of filtration you'll be using in lab this year, both the gravity filter and the vacuum filter depending on the application. See you next time in lab.